Today, I'm going to show you how I made this animation on Resolve. I'm going to use Motion Suite for that. Let's see how to create the animations. First, we'll create this car animation. Now, let's take a car from my Fluent Emoji Pack. You can get that from the description. Now, let's animate its position. Now, make the path smooth. As you can see our car moving with the path, now you just have to select the animated object, hit the auto heading button. As you can see now, it's rotating with the path. Now we need a path. Same as the car moving, select the object and hit the path snap button. As our path created, we use this path as the background and also adjust the border width. You can move the car a bit with transform node as you need it. Now we need dashed line. So select the object and hit control click on the path snap button. As you can see the dashed line is created. As you can see it's in the foreground, so we need to move it behind the car, so we'll use that car as a foreground. You can adjust the path anytime and everything connected to it'll do the same. Let's use the splash tool as smoke of the car. So select the car and click on the splash button. Now we have to connect the object that you want smoke coming out from so we'll connect the car. As you can see the smoke, now we can use it as background of the car. Now our animation is ready to use and still you can adjust anything in this comp you can adjust the smoke size, form the splash tool. As you can see, it's so flexible to modify. Now let's see how to create this electric effect in the cable animation. Let's get a plug from the emoji pack. Adjust the plug size and direction for the animation. Now we need to remove the cable by masking. Now we can group them and then use a transform node to animate the object. Now let's animate the object. Now smooth the path and use the auto heading tool to rotate the object with the path. Now select the transform node by clicking the path behind tool and create a path behind animation. We can use this as background of our object and adjust the border width. Now we'll add the electric effect. We can connect the object path to this node. If you go to the modifiers tab on the animated object, you'll see the path that the object using so we can use that path. Now select the electric node and connect the polyline with the path that you just saw. As you can see the node connected with that path, but there is no animation so we can connect the right length to the path displacement so the length increase as the object move. So right click on the right path input and connect the path displacement. And now you can see it's following the object. But for Motion Suite user, there is a good news as I was making this comp, I realized that I can make a script that can do that. So I created a script for you guys. Let me show you how to use this. So we took quite a lot time to create that electric animation, but with this tool, you can do that in second. This works same as path tools. You can do all the things as the path tools. You can drag and drop the code, or you can create new script on Motion Suite and put them in that editor and run it. Now we are going to create this car animation. Again, we'll use the pack. Now we'll use the super lines as the background.
Now let's create a road. Now let's move the road between the lorry and the background. Now create the road dashed line. So we'll first create a line, then duplicate the line. Now let's add a duplicate node. Increase the copies and move to the X axis. And now set the edges to wrap. Now if we select the merge node and move, you can see we need more lines so we can use the repeat tool so we can set the edges to warp so it repeats. As you can see now, we can animate this lines so we got the final result. You can change the colors of super lines to get the desired look. I'm so dumb that I forgot to use the dashed line for the animation and stated of the duplicate node. So let me show you real quick how we could do this quickly with this tool. Just create a dashed line and modify it as you want, then animate the center, then you get the same result without using three nodes for that. Next, we're going to animate the tires of that car. So let's take a slicer tool. No connect ellipse tool and fit the tires and move the pivot to the center of that tire so it can rotate on its axis. Now, if I change this rotation, you can see the tires rotating. Do it for the other one as same. Now we can either add a expression or we can animate and connect one tire to another so we don't have to animate them separately. But for now, we'll use expression. In this expression, the time is the current time of the playhead and as every time it's increasing. And if we multiply with any number, it'll keep updating and we see the spin. Do it for the other one as same. As you can see, our animation is ready. Now, let's see how to create this solar eclipse animation. Again, we'll use the pack. We'll add glow to the sun. and add long shadow to the moon to get the effect. Now we'll adjust the opacity to get a nice shadow. This will do the work. And move the light source point in the middle of the sun. Now everything is set up for animation. Now animate the moon's position. Now we'll add texts. For moon, we'll connect the text position with the moon and use a transform node to adjust the position. As you can see, we can't put the text before the long shadow, so we need to merge after the long shadow applied. Now let's connect the text to the moon. Now with merge node selected, we can move the text without modifying the animation. Now set a nice font with Font Browser.
Now let's add all other texts. Now you can add a mask to the long shadow to fade the shadow behind the earth. You can get all my extensions from the description, and if you have any question please contact me with this email.